A special welcome to the hundreds of you now subscribing through our iTunes podcast. And not to be left out, a warm welcome to our Zoom viewer. Hey there, what's going on? I'm Rich DeMiro, and welcome to another edition of the Synced Up Show, Tech News Fast and Fun. You ever wonder what Tokyo would look like covered in grass? Well, probably not, but these pictures could spare your imagination the hard work, and that leaves more brain power to process more important things, like what you're going to do this weekend. Let's get you started with your must-click moment. It's a giant air hockey table like you've never seen before. Instead of a puck and pushers, just use your hands on the multi-touch surface. The tabletop combines a 103-inch Panasonic plasma screen with software from a British company called UI-Centric. Boxy users got quite a scare recently when Hulu stopped working on their systems. Then their biggest nightmare came true. The two media companies were forced to sever ties because Hulu's content partners weren't comfortable with the setup. Boxy is a free media center app that pulls content from dozens of internet streams, in many cases without any formal agreement in place. Boxy can be installed on top of Apple TV, which effectively brought Hulu to the big screen. This is a huge setback for Boxy. Hulu through Apple TV was the main reason I installed the app, and I'm assuming a lot of other people too. So hopefully this story is not over. All right, meeting a friend for lunch or dinner can quickly turn into a lesson in where to meet up, especially if there's a little distance between the two of you. Well, thankfully, Meet Ways can help you find a median. The simple site lets you find the halfway point between two addresses. Just pop in your address or zip code, then your friends, and the type of place you want to meet at. After a brief encounter with a giant eyeball, the system calculates a good halfway point and lists its suggestions. You can even send a permalink with the results to your friend so they can chime in. Now, someone told me about this website a long time ago, but they couldn't remember the name, so it took me forever to track down. So bookmark it now. You never know when you're going to need it. Staples is aiming to make business meetings a bit less boring with a new product they call Paper Show. It's an interactive paper and Bluetooth pen system. Whatever you write on the pad gets projected on the big screen. That way you can brainstorm, take notes, or jazz up a presentation. The starter kit is $200 and currently works with Windows computers. Whatever you do, resist the urge to make a funny doodle of your boss on the big screen. At least until he leaves the room. Finally, Nintendo taking the wraps off of a revamped DS. The popular handheld gaming system will get a mini makeover come April 5th. The new DSi is slimmer, its dual screens are larger, there are two cameras and an SD card slot. The device will come in black or blue and will sell for $170. One subtraction, no slot for Game Boy Advance cartridges. All right, that about wraps up this edition of The Synced Up Show. Thanks for watching and please share us with your friends so we can continue making new episodes. I'm Rich DeMiro, consider yourself all synced up and don't say I didn't tell you so.